in this spiritual war that we are in, Satan is trying his best to lure the believers into the lake of fire. He has the unbelievers blinded on their way to eternal torment unless they come to the knowledge of the truth. And Satan wants to be like the most high. You know, before God created mankind, his number one creation, uh, Satan tried to go against God. You know, he tried to remove God off of his throne. You know, this idiot said in Isaiah chapter 14, verses 12 through 15, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which did weaken, weaken the nations? For thou has said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. Yet thou shall be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. I mean, that's what this fool said, you know, and you know, he's selfish, you know, I mean, he don't care about anybody else. To him, it's all about him, you know, Satan. It's all about me, 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 I, 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 you know, and, you know, it's, it's pride that what got him um, kicked out of uh, of heaven. But, you know, I just I just read this, you know, just read it over and over like, wow, you know, the, the pride that Satan has thinking that he could be better than God. You know, that's why I say he's an idiot, you know. And so when he tried to, um, you know, go against God, you know, he got kicked out of heaven. You know, Jesus said in Luke ten nineteen, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. You know, Satan is hell bent on trying to remove the true and living God off of his throne. But, you know, that would never happen. And I don't know why Satan thinks that he can do that. I mean, that will never happen because a created being would never be greater than the creator of heaven and earth. Psalms chapter 45, verse 6 says, Thy throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of thy kingdom is a right scepter. So according to the scriptures, you know, I mean, God can never be dethroned, okay? But Satan is constantly trying to do that. All right, so Satan failed trying to remove God off the throne. And when Jesus became part of his own creation by manifesting into a human being or uh, God in the flesh, Satan tried to kill Jesus when he was a baby, but he failed. You can read about that in Matthew chapter 2, verses 12 through 23. And when Jesus was on the cross dying for the sins of the world, Satan thought he defeated God, you know? I mean... I just kind of wonder like how he must have felt, you know, when Jesus was when uh, Jesus was put on the cross. And, you know, I mean, Satan thought he won. You know, he must have been like, yes, I got him. Yes, I can beat God. I got him on the cross. And, you know, but Satan didn't realize that the cross, it was God's way of redemption. Ephesians 1, 7. You know, he didn't know that the cross would defeat him. And so. You know, I thank God for that. You know, we all need to thank God for that. I mean, like constantly, you know, because, you know, God, he loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us on the cross. You know, but when you read the book of Revelation, um, Satan continues to fail to be like the most high throughout the book of Revelation, you know, but he's really going to try, though, but um, he can't be. God, you know, of, of everything, you know, he's only the God of this world and he's really going to try to be God. He's really going to try to be the most high by being the God of this world, you know, when the book of Revelation uh, transpires. But uh, Satan has unrealistic expectations, you know, he's trying his best to be God, but will never be God, you know, just the God of this world, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. You know, I just wanted to make a video um, about Satan's failures, you know, because he's stupid, you know. I mean, he's slow. He's retarded. I mean, yeah, he may be clever. He may be real sneaky and cunning and, 
and a liar, but he is stupid, you know, he is he's freaking stupid, you know, so I just want to make a video about Satan's failures because I meditate on spirit, on the spiritual uh, realm, you know, I mean, I go outside and I just be looking at the sky, you know, during the daytime, you know, look at the first heaven at night, look at the second heaven, and I just be thinking like, you know, the, the spiritual warfare is warfare that's going on like you know how is it you know how is it taking place and you know I mean I just be like wow you know just thinking you know that there's a, a fallen angel out there who wants to be like God but he's nothing but a failure you know a created being who wants to be like the most high I mean, when you really think about that, I mean, you just be like, wow, you know, because this is really something, you know, with the spiritual warfare that's going on. If you have not accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, please do so. Please watch my video, which is titled Now is the Day of Salvation to Accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior.